Hello. You haven't seen me for a while, have you? Let's go and do some metal detecting. I am back out, finally. It's been ages. It feels like it's been ages anyway. I'm back out on the field where I found this ring and that ring. And last time I was here, the ground was bone dry. But since then, we've had loads and loads and loads and tons and loads and loads of rain. So the ground is hopefully a lot softer. I just got back from holiday, so my nose is a bit red. A bit of sunburn. It wasn't really that sunny when we were there, but you know, I catch the sun quite easily. But yeah, so back out in the field with my metal detector. Let's go and find some treasure. This is my third hole. First two were just little bits of rubbish. Another bit of rubbish here, but thought I'd show that. It's a big piece of iron. That was coming up at a solid 18, that was. But because of the shape, it confused the detector. I think that's probably part of an old doorknob or something like that. It's broken up into a billion pieces. There's the rest of it there. I'm trying to get as much of it out of the hole as I can, so that I don't end up digging it again in the future. I'm not 100% sure what that is, but I think, looking at the little nipply bit there, it might be the bottom of a bayonet style bulb. Oh, it's just falling apart in my hand. Yeah, look, there's a bit of glass there. Yep, that's definitely a piece of a bulb. Another little piece of electrical stuff. Finding lots of little electrical components around this area. So I'm wondering if it's just um, green waste up here. Maybe I'll have to go on the other side of those trees there. That's where I found the rings. I think I'll head that way in a little bit. It's a nice little button. Shank is broken. It's quite an old one. It's quite heavy actually. That was coming up at 18. Yeah. I do quite like a button though, so it's not all bad. Some people hate these things. But I've got loads and loads of them at home and I keep them all. It's an old penny. That rang up like a like a cartwheel penny that did. But unfortunately that's not what it is. It's quite thick though, so I'm gonna say George the Third, more than likely, because it's coins were quite chunky but yeah a penny it's a little four hole button has got some writing on it but I can't quite make out what it is yeah nice little button it's one of the old decimal five pence coins we don't use these anymore about 1992 I think it was these came out of circulation and the newer 5p's are half the size I'm very close to where I found those rings a few months ago, just over in that sort of area there. And I've just had a signal here. It's nice and strong. A little, little bit jumpy. My tripod's doing a time lapse down there, so I'm having to do this one handed. And it's there. So let's see what this is. It's not very easy with one hand. <clears throat> right. Is it in the hole or is it in the plug? In the hole. Very loud tones. Is that it there? No, it's just slate. I'm not saying it's going to be another ring, but it's a very similar sort of tones. I'm taking my gloves off now as well, haven't I? Just getting my trowel. Big stone there. Oh, there it is. Look, it's not a ring.
Ah, there we go. That's what it was. All that. Oh, I was really hoping it was going to be another ring, but a solid, solid copper bar there. What's in the ball of mud? It's in there somewhere. Which part is it in? Is it from? It's not that, is it? I seem to have lost it now. Oh, there it is, look. What is that? No idea what that is. Like a tiny traffic cone. If you've got any ideas what that is, let me know in the comments. As that was coming out the ground, I was thinking, is that a Roman fibula? But no, it's not. It's still a pretty cool find though. Any guesses to what it is? I know what it is. It's off one of those plates. So that's your finger hole. You hold it like that. There would have been a plate on here. It would have held a candle. And then you would have walked around with a candle. I'll put a picture of it up somewhere. There you go. It's a thing. I'm not quite sure what that is. Is it some kind of vent for something? And there would have been something attached to the other side of that little twisty thing there to close the vents. Maybe? No idea. Let me know in the comments. I have a little piece of lead. Bit of a strange shape, unless it's part of an old musket ball splatter or something like that. Bit of a ricocheted. Yeah, could be. Just had this massive piece of chain. Really frustrating. Can someone tell me why on my Nox 800, iron always comes up at 16? Even when I'm in all metal. Obviously I get the iron tones in all metal, but this came up with no iron tones. It was a solid 16. And it happens all the time. Which is really annoying. It's a tiny, tiny little bullet. Well, just the casing. It's got some mark on the bottom there. H. I'm not entirely sure with this one, but uh, I'm going to guess the front bumper part of a toy car or a toy truck or something like that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, it's another one of those tiny bullets. This time, it has an R on it. I have no idea what that means. I know nothing about bullets, but I would assume it's the maker, maybe? I don't know. My best guess is this is a piece of that toy car or toy truck that I found um, just, just over there. Yeah, that's what I think that is. Just had a little surface find. D. Probably off a reused telegraph pole or something like that. Can't see any around here though. Maybe the fence posts, the gate posts there perhaps. There's a nice little dome button there. There you go, you can see they're domed. Yeah, nice little button. And there's something in the clod. It's coin or is it a button? I'm going to say coin. Yes, it is a coin. Not had many coins today, have I? Let's give that a little wipe on the old trousers. Just a gentle one. No, unfortunately, I think that is completely toasted. Oh well, it's still a coin though. We've just come and sat down on this rock and I spotted this. Doesn't look like much until you have a look closely and you can see these lines all over the place, all going that way. And obviously there's a little gully in there, that's why it's filled up with that stuff. But I think, I'm not entirely sure, but they might be tool marks where people sharpened their tools, um, you know, the axes and whatever they sharpened, however they sharpened it. But I believe that's what that might be because up on that mountain, this one here on the other side there is a big boulder and 
on that big boulder are tool marks. It's actually documented. I did a YouTube short actually. If you look at my YouTube shorts, you'll see the video on there. But yeah, I think that might be the same thing. I might have just found another one. Don't know for sure. I might have to ask the farmer actually, see if he knows. But if that's what it is, that's really cool. You win some, you lose some. Just a bit of copper wire. Oh, that one there. It wasn't like that when it came out. I scrunched it up in my hand. Yeah, just some copper. It's another coin from in there. It was very deep. There's my pinpointer, which is, well, it's got eight inches on there, but you know, to the top is about another inch. So it's about nine inches. So that's where the coin was. And right at the bottom there with the coin, if I can find where I've put it, little piece of clay pipe. What's that doing nine inches down? It's a little stud of some form. I thought it was uh, lead at first, but it's very light so it's not lead. Yeah, stud. I'm gonna go with a stud. What's in the ball of mud? You just see something sticking out there. It was coming up at 16 so I suspected iron. But uh, maybe not. Now you come. There it is. Huh. No idea. Oh, um, is it part of a lighter? Maybe that's where the flint would have scraped across to make a spark maybe or is that just decoration and it's part of a dog whistle yeah look right, let me just give this a quick clean up there we go that little bit there where the hole is makes me think it's a whistle dog whistle maybe not sure i think there's a bit missing off the front unless it's complete i'm not sure i'll clean the mud out at home and let you know if it whistles or not I do believe this is like some kind of strap fastener. Looks very similar to the thing I've got on my belt. So yeah, you know what I mean. Everyone's seen one of these. Yeah, that rang up a solid 24. I was really hoping it was going to be a bit of silver. But nope, just a little copper washer. Oh well, nice Vicky one penny.
it's a bit toasted on that side. Most of that mud will probably come off. But yeah, you can just make out um, Queen Victoria's bust there somewhere. I could see it a minute ago. It's definitely there. Yeah, well, there it is. Just see her there. Yeah, a penny. That, I don't know. It's a big piece of iron. It's got to be some kind of projectile, isn't it? Like a small cannonball. Has to be. So iron's not always boring, I guess. It's very heavy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go with a small cannonball for that. It's a nice, solid 22. Oh, it just jumped to 23. So I hope nobody comes past thinks I'm talking to myself. Whatever it is is there. Get a big piece of slate. Mad. Yeah. Unfortunately, just a big piece of lead. I was really hoping for something better than that. It's another washery kind of thing. No idea of age or its use. But yeah, just a piece of copper. So that was in the same hole as that washery thing I just had. I um, wasn't sure where it was at first, but could it be the eyepiece for a monocular? You know, like a binocular, but just one. Like obviously glass would be missing. Hmm, it might not be that. It's just what it looks like to me. All that for a modern 2P. The detector said it was in there. If it wasn't, it was there. Ah, uh, it's a little button. Completely knackered, unfortunately. Well, like most of them are, I guess. But yeah, a little button. That's a very interesting piece of lead. Hmm. It's screaming old to me. Screaming very old. How old? I don't know. I wonder what its use was in life. It looks like a little piece of a bronze ingot or something. It's pretty cool. Needs a proper clean though to really know what it could be. I've not had one of them in a while. It's a lovely little watch winder. That's nice isn't it? Yeah. Yeah I like that. No not sure on that one. What could it be? It's like a little flattened train driver's hat. It's another little piece of lead. Looks like it's been chopped on either side. It's kind of interesting. Is that some kind of strap end? Perhaps one part of it? I don't know. 
Hmm. It's kind of a cool shape though. Yeah, I kind of like that. I'm going to go with the strap end on that one. It's a massive piece of lead pipe. We've had a fair bit of lead today. Plenty of lead for the scrap. Yeah. I do believe that is a compass. Not the uh, compass you use for getting around, but the compass you use, like in school, for drawing circles. Put a pencil in there. Yeah, that's what that is. Thought I'd finally struck silver, but no, it's just a silver gilded button. There we go. Can't have it all, can you? Well, it's come to the end of another days of metal detecting. I've had a really nice day, I've really enjoyed myself. Despite the finds not being brilliant, I mean, I've had some coins and, and stuff. I've, had, I've not had anything exciting, but I don't really care. I've just really enjoyed being out. Pretty knackered now. I would carry on. I'd go for a few more hours, I think, but I've got places to go, people to see, things to do. So that's what I'm going to do next. But yeah, I was, yeah, really enjoyed myself. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Well, obviously you weren't here, but you know, you're watching the video, so hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Yeah, so until next time, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.